Yo, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another film reaction commentary. Today, we're going to be watching something that was highly anticipated, specifically on the Patreon, because it just kept barely missing the Patreon polls by like a couple votes, sometimes even one. So I've been keeping it on the Patreon poll for like a month and some change, and it finally, finally has won. And I think this is going to be the first film I uh, react and comment over to, uh, you know, from Stanley Kubrick. Now, uh, he is someone that I definitely want to dive more in towards. And I will be honest, I just haven't, you know, taken an interest into really Stanley Kubrick as a director, um, whether it's because I just didn't have the time for it or I was kind of just preoccupied with other things as well but again I think that's one of the beautiful things about this YouTube channel is that I'm basically uh, allowing myself to kind of open up my horizon and educate myself not just from an audience member and just like watching a film for what it is but also from a filmmaker's perspective as well too which allows me to kind of educate myself and also hopefully educate you guys along the uh the, the passage as well too so i'm really excited about that and i know that you know stanley kubrick is like I mean, he's a visionary for sure. I've heard so much about him, but I just haven't tapped into a lot of his films um, just because I just I, like there's no excuse. Honestly, it's just I haven't done it. <laughs> I just haven't done it. There's a lot out there and I just haven't gotten the time to get around towards him. But I'm hoping that this channel kind of opens me up towards that. Um, guys, I'm super excited about where this channel is going, by the way. This community is growing extremely fast and I give all the thanks to you guys as well, too. And the way that it's growing, it's not just growing really fast, but just the uh, the level of value within this community is super super incredible and that is only thanks to the community and you guys make up that community the conversations you guys have with each other the dialect the uh, love and the passion that you have about these films and the way that you guys communicate with one another about that i think is really awesome and i am super appreciative of that and it's just something that you know I, I, it goes a long way. I'm not sure if you guys notice it or not, but I mean, it just really does go a long way. That's like one of the most important aspects when it comes to something like this. And I'm very happy that it's blossoming into something really awesome. So I can't wait to just continue growing it, you know, and just kind of, you know, growing along with that journey with you guys as well, too. And I want to also give a special shout out to Netflix as well, too. I mean, this dude is just growing as well. He's been watching and reacting to a lot of things that either I uh, have watched prior to the YouTube channel or I've watched on the YouTube channel. He also has a lot of really awesome things to say and he's just a really dope individual who genuinely loves these movies and I think if you know during this time it's really important to surround yourself not only with people but with content that you're consuming and he's one of the people out there uh, that you know I would 100% vouch for in terms of just surrounding yourself with just good vibes you know especially now so definitely check him out Netflix I mean Netflix <laughs> Netflix um, Nick flicks in the description below I'll have him and his links in the description if you want to check him out but guys without further ado let's hop right into Barry Lyndon again guys if you want to see everything that I do have to say about this film because it is three hours and some chains long definitely check out the full length um, especially with this one usually films that are primarily a lot longer than the average length i highly recommend to something like that but guys like always um i appreciate you guys for hanging in with me i am not in my local area i'm kind of like in colorado so um you know bear with the setup for now but let's hop right into the film i also don't know a damn thing about this <laughs> and there is no doubt he would have made an eminent figure in his profession had he not been killed in a duel, which arose over the purchase of some horses. Dang. People were still capping people back in the day. It don't matter. <laughs> I will shoot you over some horses. Also, that frame was gorgeous. My God, that was incredible. Foreground, mid-ground to background composition right there. I've taken the ribbon from around my neck and hidden it somewhere on my person. If you find it, you can have it. God dang. Jesus. <laughs> oh, just say y'all horny. I don't. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what the heck? 
That's some savage stuff right there. Are you ready? Dance! Ha! These shots are just incredible. Like, like these compositions are without a doubt like gorgeous. I'm very pleased by how these shots are lined up. And again, guys who are new to the channel, I do talk a lot about cinematography because that is how I was introduced to filmmaking myself. So out of all the filmmaking aspects, cinematography is something that I can definitely pick out uh, very quickly. And I am very pleased so far with the shots that are being selected. You know, even from this one right here, just use of that wide angle going from right to left, creating that sense of depth within a frame. I wish I could say the same about their dancing. <laughs> Dang, so <clears throat> homie got his girl stolen by Jerry Seinfeld. That's rough. <laughs> Again, this looks like a freaking painting. I'm sure the color grading was um, probably inspired by Renaissance paintings within this time as well, too, because of the glossy, blurry effect. Oh, the sassiness within within this script is hilarious. Look at the posture homie has. I have the honor to wish you both a good day. These people killed people, Jack by Queen. the way. Like, they went to war. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> is this film going to be just like three hours of intense pettiness? <laughs> I mean, so I'm definitely with it because it's it's honestly kind of hilariously entertaining at the moment. Here is my toastier, Captain John Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! <laughs> Quinn, my dear fellow, are, are you all right? <laughs> this dude, man, he is. <laughs> Golly, man. I will fight the man who pretends the hand. I'll follow him if it's into the church and fight him there. I'll have his blood or he'll have mine. It's just so incredible that poverty and money and status Grace and, and class had so much, I mean, still has so much control over just generational wealth. You shall never want a friend or a second. Will you take my message to him? Will you arrange a meeting? But he doesn't. He doesn't want any of that. He just wants to be in love with it apparently must. his cousin. Which, hey, I mean, like, he's like, yo, I will fight you. <laughs> At least he's like, you know, about it. So he's not like a a sissy about it, you know. I really love these zoom outs and these zoom ins. That was really nice. Again, just the framing of this and the compositioning of the characters within this frame is just a painting. It's like, it's literal, it's literally a painting. I'm not sorry and I'll not apologize. And I soon go to Dublin as to hell. Yo, Barry, yo, he is gangster, man. <laughs> I was. I was not expecting, like, me to love this character so much. Like, wow, he is a gangster. I'm not sure if it's even supposed to be intentionally funny, but, like, he's just such a G. Three. Yo, Barry's a G. <laughs> Barry's a G. He is a gangster. Oh, my God. <laughs> he is... A gangster, man. No My goodness, where was this shot at, by the way? Like, where on earth is this shot at? 
this is actually really great because like this is one of the reasons why I'm personally traveling as well just to scout locations out and just kind of work a little bit more on my compositioning so it's just really great seeing like these frames they're super inspiring good morning again young sir don't even think about it these guys man get down off that horse this is crazy the fact that these were like <laughs> your average gangsters <laughs> Like, I guess if I were to go back in time, I wouldn't be able to really take him seriously. And stuck up by Benjamin Franklin, dude. <laughs> Big Ben. One who baits him. Mr. Tool, is it a towel of your wife's washing? They say she wipes your face often with one. Yo, yo, the, yo, this film is, is, is great. I love the pettiness. This is great. Did you hide so yesterday when Mrs. Tool came to visit you? Afraid of getting your ears boxed. Oh man. Yo, I love this. I love this. This is freaking great. No biting, kicking, or scratching. Mm. The last man to remain standing is the winner. Love how this is being shot over the shoulder, too. This is so gorgeously shot. I love it. Yo, my man got his entire side rocked to the north. Yo, Barry can throw down. Barry's dope. Barry is dope. He can throw down, man. You gotta love Barry. Yo, Barry is dope, man. I don't know what they were thinking. Why did they not shoot again? <clears throat> Wait, was it because they had to get within range? Why was that the case? You are sometimes lonely. Hmm. I'm really appreciating this moment between these characters here. You know? They're both lonely. They're both, you know, being in the crossfires of this war that's happening. Both seem pretty young as well. That would be very nice. <laughs> Baby's like, hey, <laughs> I still got food left. Can you feel? Can you? Can you feed me, please? Well, that's extremely kind of you, Captain. And I'd be honored to accept your invitation. Hmm. I wonder if he noticed something or not. I don't know. Sketchy, man. That was a sketchy little thing. Also, like, these frames are gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to have to say that, but they are. Daddy on with a skillful combination of questions and flattery. You will have to mm. pardon me. I know so little about your country of England. I kind of, I kind of figured. I kind of figured this is going to be a setup, man. Sergeant. Dieser Mann ist unter Arrest. Ugh. This is awkward. This is incredibly awkward. Oh my goodness, he got caught. <laughs> Man, I got a shout out to the uh, set designers on this film because they're doing a great job. I love how everything is looking right now. It really does help with like the immersion of everything, especially when you're dealing with war. And it's good that he's saving him, you know? Because he, I mean, I think it crossed his mind a little bit. It crossed his mind that he could have just left him there. I don't know. I think that just goes to show you how just of a good person Barry is. Hopefully this pays off because help me just, like, you know, <laughs> save his life. It was about to bring its reward. <laughs> I 
I do have to say I love the journey that's bringing us um, alongside Barry, you know, from, you know, from poor to riches. It just seems that everything is kind of the same. <laughs> you know, there's a prison around you or for you when you're in poverty. And then there's a prison even for when you're rich. And that's more of like the mental prison. One thing I got to say about Stanley Kubrick, man, is like from just what I'm seeing from this film is just these beautiful compositions. It feels like every frame has such a compositional purpose, you know? I don't know what I was expecting. I was not expecting to see that. <laughs> That's, again, compositional purpose because you can't see the back. I mean, you can't see the front of his face until they were greeted with one another. <laughs> It was low-key very funny. And now I've been put into your service by my Captain Potsdorf and his uncle, the Minister of Police. Wow, so he, he just couldn't help it. He was like, I need to, like, spill the beans. And to give... But the his reasonings for why he's doing it is support. very intriguing, you know? It's very Barry, actually, which I admire, specifically with the screenplay, because this could have been a whole entirely different, like, undercover film. But, like, now thinking about it, it would have went against Barry's intentions. When the Chevalier comes out to his carriage tomorrow morning, two officers will meet him and escort him to the front end. Jesus. Man, they are setting people up, man. Out here just setting people up. I love how, as of right now, there's no, like, uh, this film doesn't follow, like, a regular chronological order. It's very, like, flowing. You know, it's like just watching a water react to itself, kind of just hitting, like, different landscapes and just watching it and then seeing where it lands. And you're just kind of enjoying the ride. Few bad debts. It was his great skill with the sword and readiness to use it that maintained the reputation of the firm. So oh, yo, Barry is a gangster. I am telling you guys right now. He's like, listen, if you don't pay up, I will poke a freaking sword through your gullet. Like, dude, he's out here shooting people, robbing people, <laughs> scamming people, and now stabbing people. He's the realest G out here. High tide of fortune and prospering with the cards. They had little to show for their labor, but some fine clothes and a few trinkets. Mm. Yep, that's another thing. Again, like, even if you acquire all that money and wealth, I don't know, like, going back to that dinner scene where he was faking himself Five as being years a general, in the army you know, and something. it's loneliness. Loneliness, you know, is a very. Um, difficult thing from no, no matter what societal class you're in. I love how nothing needs to be said. It's just all eye contact and close, tight angles of people's reaction to one another. Facial movements. Eye movements. Even with all that makeup on, you can kind of still, like, sense their deeper expressions. And I think the music has a lot to do with that as well, too. Good evening, Mr. Barry. Have you done with my lady? I beg your pardon. Come, come, sir. I'm a man who would rather be known as a cuckold than a fool. <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> wow. He was like, listen, <laughs> I'd rather be called a cuckold than a fool. I don't even think I, w I would ever even hear those hear, hear that even being said. But here it is. He's basically just saying, yo, just like be, be real with me. He has left behind him a name which is endeared to all. His Whoa, I was wondering, I was like, why? Why is the voice fading? <laughs> why is the narrator fading away? 
We are getting hit with an intermission. God, misfortunes. Oh boy. Oh, that sucks. Oh man. I don't want to see my man losing for like the rest of the film. That's terrible. <laughs> Do not like your new father. Not very much. He seems to me little more than a common opportunist. God. God damn. This very much. Does he make such a little a bastard? <laughs> I mean, yo, it sucks. Because now you gotta you gotta question it. Like, was Barry's it was Barry's journey for love or for opportunity? Because I think at first it you know in the very beginning of this film it was for at love. The end of a year, but then when he tried to rekindle that, it just I think it mixed with his oppor opportunist mentality of trying to make himself be something in this world. And so when he tried to look for love again, it just was not genuine. Hence, him now cheating on his wife. Besides, she was a mother and would have great comfort in the dressing, educating, and dandling of their little Brian. Man, women got screwed back in the day. Like, still Loki getting screwed, but like, they were just... <laughs> part of the duty of every family of this Annihilated. To be performed back then, like, my goodness, just kind of left to dry. Like, that sucks, man. That's like some chronic depression there. Zoom in. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. That hurt. That hurt so much. That sucked. That really sucked. The kid's going to kill you now. <laughs> the kid's really going to kill you now. One. Two. <laughs> Again, like, I know it's not like funny i know they're like the, the film isn't trying to make it intentionally Four. funny but it's just like five everything is done so politely that i can't help but laugh a little bit like you had the privilege of hearing lord bullington how many times you're being what my god my <laughs> my mom <laughs> i'm getting like vietnam flashbacks to all the freaking beatings I got. My goodness. I told you never to lay a hand on this child. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this, is, this is a wild movie. <laughs> oh my God, dude. It's shot so gorgeously. This is the most gorgeous looking uh, uh, ass spanking I think I've ever seen. See, the trick is you got to put some Yu-Gi-Oh cards in your back pocket. His brutal and ungentlemanlike behavior, his open infidelity, his shameless robberies and swindling of my property. God, godly man, this is so much tea. God, this is more than the Boston Tea Party, man. <laughs> Little kid's like, yeah, some action, finally. I mean, dude, I, you kind of deserve it. <laughs> I mean, it sucks that it happened because everybody was caught in the crossfires. But yeah, dude, you, you, you were, you were, you turned out to be a real piece of work, man. It's a shame because like I really liked him <laughs> in the beginning, but it just sucks, man. Yes, Papa, I promise. All right, eat your food. Man, you could just see it. He's just balancing so many things. It's just like a bomb waiting to just like, not even destruct, you know, just kind of rushed over slowly, just decaying, not even worth an explosion or the sight of one. On the Frenchman's faces when 23 rampaging heat that will sword and pistol. Cut and thrust pell-mell came tumbling into the- Man, he's definitely killing this acting now, that's for sure. He's putting in work. My goodness. But I truly believe you are largely responsible for the state of mind she is in. 
And the sooner you leave, the better she will be. She, yo, that is some like, that's goon. That's some mob boss <laughs> type of stuff. Oh my goodness, man. Caused an intervention from a certain quarter, which was long overdue. Oh my God. Wow, this movie has definitely took a turn for the worst. Oh my God, this is depressing now. It's extremely depressing. This is... <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> I mean, the film's great. It's just, it's, this is a sucky um, aftertaste for sure. And quite justified. However. <laughs> However. <laughs> yep, there it goes. <laughs> ah, there it goes. Damn. Talk about a defeated king. Oh my goodness. That is a sight to behold. Very well shot with the light leaking in through the left there. And the colors saturated but yet dull and dried out. It's like a beautiful painting of decaying fruit. Sir Richard, this pistol must be faulty. Yikes. You gotta be kidding me. This dude done goofed. He done goofed. Are you kidding me? I'm not sure if he's even going to shoot him. I don't think Barry's going to shoot him. Already lost the son. One. Two. Mm. Wow. 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 I knew he wasn't going to kill him. He's like, listen, man, if you're going to kill me, you might as well just kill me, dude. I'm already on my last legs out. Two. Oh, snap. Okay, wow. I don't even know where he hit him at. Did he hit him? Looked like he... Well, he definitely hit him. I don't know why I asked did he hit him. But now this dude has a... He's got to walk around with a, with a little limp. I'm very sorry to have to tell you this, Mr. Linden. I'm afraid you'll have to lose the leg. Most likely blow the... Worse than a limp? That's an entire leg? Just kill this man. <laughs> Just kill him. Against you for debts long outstanding. And your credit is so blown that you could not hope. Well, that sucks. Yeah, this this entire half of the film has just been utter depression. Like, just complete <laughs> depression amongst... A character I actually really liked on the first half. The socks, man. <laughs> God, it's just so much sadness. This is just so sad. Ah. Uh. <laughs> but he appears to have resumed his former profession of a gambler without his former success. He never saw Lady Linden again. Man, yo. <laughs> this. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so depressing? I don't understand. I, I'm like here traveling, trying to get some fresh air, and then like you guys hit me with this film. Great. I'm just joking, guys. But seriously, though. Golly, man. She is so like just drained. She is emotionally drained. She's just a husk of her former self. She is basically me right now after watching this. Golly, man. It's very true. <laughs> that is um, very true. Man. Guys, and I believe that is Barry Lyndon. 
All right, everybody, we just got done wrapping up Barry Lyndon. Man, <laughs> so so there's a lot, obviously, to say about this film. Um, and I'm gonna do my best to keep it brief because I am like kind of tired after watching this film. I'm like really tired. Like this film took me on like such a high roller coaster where Barry Lyndon was like, he was just, he was the goat, you know, he was just, he was just unstoppable <laughs> and I just loved his character and I believe what happened was that you know at first he was doing his he was trying at first the, the theme of him trying to find himself is supposed is supposed to be noted right however it went from love you know him chasing after love to him then chasing after finding himself within the world and because of his environment and the circumstances that just happened to be around him that purpose was morphed with capitalism and class society and power and riches and everything mixed and mixed and mixed around with his purpose of finding himself his purpose of identity and I think along the way, that purpose of love that was so pure in the beginning of the film, granted, it was with his cousin. I wouldn't recommend that with anybody out there, but um, like that disappeared and it just mutated somewhere along the lines into this hideous discombobulation of his former self. And then the, the second half of the film was just just absolute depression. <laughs> it was just absolute depression after that. Like, man, you guys see what happened. I mean, like, I mean, for those of you who have watched it or you're going to watch the full length, which, again, please, I highly recommend because this is a long movie. Um, yeah, like it was just absolute downfall. Like, again, it was like watching you know, a, a, a beautiful painting, you know, of, of fruit just decaying, you know, just decaying and there was nothing you could do about it, you know, and it's just like, damn, okay, well, that sucks. But man, I mean, just think about it, that's just only one out of millions of stories, you know, like that is just crazy. That's just really crazy. I think it's an awesome film. I really do. It's just really depressing. <laughs> it is like i'm not gonna lie to you on how i feel right now um but yeah uh if i took a step back and looked at the film from like a filmmaker's perspective as well incredibly shot compositional frames within this uh film was just so excellent that i could probably write like 25 pages on why it's just unbelievably incredible so like guys tell me what you thought on this <laughs> Let me know what you think about this film and your favorite aspects of this film. I will definitely be looking into more Stanley Kubrick. But um, yeah, again, this channel is very new, so I'm still trying to like, you know, introduce newer films or just films that I haven't personally seen as well. So we will get to everything eventually. But until then, thank you guys so much. Stay hydrated. Stay healthy. I mixed up that. <laughs> stay healthy. Stay hydrated because we are just getting started. This was a depressing film. Oh, my God. Purple jacket pocket full of weed. Everything that I should ever need. Grab some matches because they give them free. Just like my time. Hair pulled back in the backseat.